I am picking up where I left off. Yesterday, I decided to vlog myself walking home from the nail salon. And I did say the nails that I had was supposed to be my New Year's nails, but I just got sick of them. And I feel like I had been held back with those. I had them soak off the acrylic and put some fresh acrylic because you know these are my real nails they're not fake except this one because it broke a few weeks ago and this one is injured it's cracked but it's fine as long as it doesn't break all the way like he glued it a couple weeks ago you can see that it's still injured but it's fine but it's still my real nail so I just wanted to start over. I had them do some fresh acrylic and I have been eyeing this pink acrylic since I had the pink and white that I got like a month and a half ago. So this time I decided to do just the pink instead of the pink and white. I've done that before with just doing the pink acrylic. Yeah, and I got my eyebrows waxed and my toes painted this pink glitter to match my nails. I didn't want to get the glitter on my nails. I just wanted simple, quiet nails. Now these <laughs> are my New Year's nails since we're still in December for a couple more days. The color is solid 17. Walking home. Whew. So I will maybe be back later. I don't know because I don't have anything else planned for today. We'll see. Bye. Oh, and I'm wearing my new Pumas. Well, everything I'm wearing is new. New outfit, even one of my new bras. Everything I'm wearing is new. Wanted to wear these because I knew I was getting a pedicure. And it's just so much easier than trying to take off socks and shoes. And it's actually hot today. 79 degrees. Whole new fit. I've never dressed so tomboyish before. I don't normally, I don't, I've never bought sweatpants before in my entire life. And I'm almost 40 years old. I feel like a stylish tomboy, but I'm comfortable. Now I see why these kinds of clothes are popular. Definitely feel like a little tomboy. Cool though, because I'm gonna buy a whole lot more clothes like this. Sweats and sweaters and shit. Okay. I'm done talking. I'm out of breath. Fat ass walking. It's a lot. So pretty. Look at the ducks. Like, those are ducks, right? I don't know, you know, they have in different names. But those are ducks, right? Somebody can let me know. But whatever they are, look at them. <laughs> okay disregard how crazy my hair looks i need to wash it i'm gonna wash it tomorrow as in sunday it is a very early saturday morning middle of the night for me 4 14 i am about to get ready to go to bed so i'm gonna shut it down in here and in my son's room i will be right back
firm this new mattress is. I got in this mattress yesterday for the first time. And I was like, holy shit, it is so firm. And I don't know if that played a part in why I didn't, sorry, why I didn't sleep very well. Cause I've never been on a mattress this hard or if it's just because it's a new mattress and it's unfamiliar to me. But this mattress is so damn hard. When they say firm, they mean firm and definitely get their name, mattress firm. But damn, mattresses are firm as fuck. And my son's is probably harder than this because his isn't as thick as mine. So his is probably a little bit harder, firmer than this one is. I wasn't gonna pay all that money for no damn mattress. I mean, it's a nice mattress, but it definitely needs to be a little bit softer. I will say you could be having all kinds of crazy sex in this bed now with this mattress and it ain't gonna make a noise because it's so fucking hard. It's like a damn rock. <laughs> like it's, it's a firm mattress. And if that was TMI, like I've said before, grow the fuck up, this is real life. We have sex. It is what it is. That's what adults do. Let's not act like we're children because we're not. But bye. So hello, hello. I have been sitting here for like 35 minutes trying to figure out this damn new tripod. I think I have it on here good now. It's definitely more complicated than the one that I had. That one was just simple, easy peasy. Screw the camera on and pull out the legs and that's it but this one looks a bit more complicated but i think i might have i just got to play around with it a little bit and use it a few times and then, then it'll come to me it's new year's day january 1st i am picking up where i left off i think not yesterday but friday i believe because i started editing the vlog and it wasn't enough so I didn't think my son was gonna be here until Friday, but apparently he's gonna be here later today. And I had planned on probably the night before Thursday, I was gonna lay all of his new clothes out on his bed and blindfold him when he walks in the door. But I also ordered a new comforter and pillows for him, but they're not gonna be here until I think Wednesday as of right now and it was going to be perfect because I was going to put those on the bed and have the clothes on the bed and he has a new mattress and I was just going to surprise him with everything so I hate that the cover is not going to be here until after he gets here versus me surprising him with it. It is what it is, you know, I'm glad I get to spend a little extra time with him before they go back to school. It is what it is, but you know, he'll get to be here when he gets here. But you know, I wanted it to already be on the bed, but that's okay. My eyebrows look really good right now. So I am going to go get his clothes out of my closet and get them on the hangers and have them on his bed so that when he gets here later, they're laid out and I'm still gonna do the same thing I'm still gonna blindfold him and when he walks in I'm gonna surprise him with the clothes and let him know that he has a new mattress and let him know about the comforter and pillowcases that are also coming so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take my ass to bed it is now 6 one in the morning and I should have been laying down really I said three hours ago I said three in the morning was gonna be the latest come the first and I'm already fucking up let me hurry up so I can lay my ass down. So I'll be right back. This is a heavy duty tripod. I like it.
in my son's room and since I'm about to go to bed and this was the last night that I am lighting the trees I am going to vlog me unplugging them for one last time probably gonna take down these trees maybe Tuesday before my son leaves on Wednesday and vlog it because I would like to have him here I would like to take him down while he's here because it's help and it's a lot of work since it's my last night it was my last night plugging them up I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this one for the last time and that's it until way later this year when Christmas comes back around the light anymore since I'm not doing the trees anymore they're still up but I'm not plugging them up and I was gonna me and my son were gonna take down two of the trees tomorrow but he wants to keep his up in his room so we're only gonna take down one because I already said I was gonna keep that one up I'm just gonna take that one down tomorrow just got home my son is here now I wasn't planning on going anywhere but my mom needed to take him to Walmart to get something to get a case for his tablet that she got him for Christmas because I made him keep the tablet here and not take it to him take it with him when he went to his dad's after Christmas because it needs a case and i didn't want him using it without a case and also just because my mom bought it you know what we buy kind of stays here as far as electronics go and clothes she needed to get him a case for that and it was some stuff that i needed to get she picked him up and then came and got me and we just left walmart and me and my son are back home now so i need to kind of clean up the mess that i left behind after i did my hair because i didn't have time to put the stuff away so I'm gonna clean that stuff up. It's nothing crazy, just like 
the towel that I use to wipe my hands and my blow dryer and my hair clips and that stuff and put this foot piece back over there and then I'm gonna put the stuff out that I got I'm excited about one piece wasn't expecting to get that but you know I'm spoiled so when you're spoiled and then you're only child you know how to give your parents those puppy dog eyes and you'll pretty much get whatever you want so I saw something that I wanted and I got it um, you know you know how to bat your eyes even at almost 40 it just comes with the territory of being an only child and being spoiled you learn how to maybe some would say maybe manipulate but I didn't manipulate manipulate I just made it known that I wanted something and my mom has always been wrapped around my finger <laughs> so you know I batted my little eyes and got what I wanted I can't use it right now because you know I don't have nobody to put anything up in my apartment that's why y'all don't ever see anything up on my walls because I'm a single mom I live alone I don't have no man to help me put anything on the wall like I have literally all of like my clocks and wall art literally on the wall over there all that is like paintings and stuff that is supposed to go on the walls just got a new piece that needs to go on the wall that's gonna go over there with the rest of it but let me clean up this stuff really quick and then i'll show you what i got nothing crazy i mean the one piece but and let me get out of these damn clothes i'm one of those women that when i come home i want to get out of the clothes that i'm wearing especially the bra so let me change and then I'm gonna come back and clean up and show y'all what I got. And then I'm gonna cook, even though I don't want to. And it's 9 p.m. and I haven't eaten today, but so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I don't wanna keep adding to that. Oh, and I am wearing one of my new outfits. I got my camera on the new tripod. This thing is so fucking heavy duty. I don't know if I can really show y'all. I'm trying to show y'all like it's a phone, but yeah. And these are bell bottoms. I have not worn bell bottoms since high school. And apparently they back in now. So these pants are so long. I got them rolled up twice at the waist and they're still super long. I might need to take them to a cleaners and let them tailor them. I don't know, but they're super long. Like these pants were made for like a woman that's like six foot tall. I'm five two. Like shit. They're super long. But they're bell bottoms. Anyway. Let me get changed and I'll be right back. I'm gonna start from over here this time. Normally I would start over here, but I'm gonna start over here. This is what I batted my eyes to get. I saw this clock and I was just like, oh my God, it's like an old fashioned style clock. That's exactly what I said. And my mom saw my eyes light up and she sat there. And when she does that, like, cause we were walking past the different aisles. Cause I was going to the other side of the store to get my Aveeno and stuff and I saw this and I stopped for a quick second and I was like oh my god it's just like one of those old-fashioned clocks that's exactly what I said and my mom she was on one of the store scooters because she's like 76 I think that's how old she yeah 
so she walks really slow she is she had to have surgery on her foot last year so yeah she rides one of those now in the store she walks like she can walk but in the grocery store it's a lot and she stood there she sat there and she was looking at it and right then i knew i was like she's gonna get it for me like i know when my mom's gonna get something like that's literally all i said like i kept walking and she was sitting there looking at it and then she called me back and she was like go ahead and get it <laughs> i wish i had somebody to put this up on the wall for me i don't know where i would put it because i wouldn't put it in my bedroom because it doesn't go with the decor of my bedroom and i already have a clock for my bedroom go ahead so i wouldn't put it in there so i don't know where i would put this clock I definitely would find somewhere in my apartment maybe in my office even though it doesn't really go that like i would find somewhere i don't know but i just love this clock it's amazing she got me the clock and this is not the case that i wanted for my son i thought that they had more uh it's the only one that says that it'll, it'll fit the size of his tablet but i think that it might actually be too big but i don't know we'll see but i am gonna get him a better case when i get some more money but i just wanted him to have some kind of case to protect his tablet but looking at this case now and just looking at his tablet i think this might be too big but we'll see if we can make it work but any kind of case is better than no case but all the cases first of all they didn't really have that many cases for any tablets and all the, the cases that they have were really for ipads his is not an ipad it's a samsung ta7 i don't know what that is i'm an apple girl so i don't know anything about anything that's not apple but that's what it is so we're gonna figure that out if i can this is minus well whatever and this is the other stuff i bought some of it my mom bought some of it i'm running low on body wash and i try to only really use avino because i have allergies and asthma and eczema so this is the best soap for sensitive skin and like right now my neck is really dry on both sides because something in my body wash that i'm using right now which i kind of just combined a lot of things because i was running really low and that's probably where i fucked up but it's drying out my skin and my neck and my hands whenever i switch from this though anything else just kind of doesn't react good with my body with my skin finally got me some avino and i got the lavender because maybe it'll make me feel calm after i take my showers i try to always keep peroxide and i'm out of it i ran out a few days ago so i got some more peroxide and mouthwash and this shit is leaking some kind of way y'all saw me wiping off all three of these because they were all in the same bag and you can see that it's not quite full i don't know what happened but the seal is broken somewhere it don't look broken but it's leaking and you can see it and it's all over my hands but whatever shit happens and i got cookies and i didn't ask for these shrimp but when i tell you that my mom <laughs> is wrapped around my finger i didn't even i didn't even mention that i wanted any food anything other than those cookies uh but she was looking at some sweet stuff for herself she was just like them shrimp look good and she knows i love seafood i thought she wanted some for herself even though my mom don't do seafood very strange to me but and the only way she eats shrimp it has to be fried she will not eat shrimp baked broiled because she says that the texture makes her feel like it's not done she doesn't like crab legs she doesn't like lobster it's the texture she doesn't like any of that and like i said the only seafood that she will eat outside of like fried fish is shrimp but it has to be fried she will not eat it any other kind of way and she was just like get you some and go home and cook it so <laughs> I got two bags because my son is here and one bag is not going to be enough for two people and I'm going to make some pasta with it. This is the stuff that I got. Thanks Mama Dukes. I can't wait to fucking use this clock. Oh my god look at that. I didn't even know I was really into this kind of 
because this isn't really like my style but when I saw it I was just like oh my god I had to have it and I got it. these deep so I am going to wash these few dishes in my sink because I need that big pot for my pasta and shrimp but that way but I think I'm gonna come back on my iPad because my battery is halfway and I don't want to be trying to vlog and the battery goes dead I'm gonna get the battery on the charger and I think I'm just gonna record the rest from my iPad I really need to buy a new battery that's what I should get out for Christmas and then I'm gonna close out this vlog because I definitely know I got enough now because I also record it in the car be back in a few minutes <laughs>
so this is the food and here i thought i made too much pasta that it was going to be too much extra left over i literally have enough for me to eat one more meal so this is what it looks like with the flash off and this is what it looks like with the flash on i'm about to tear this shit up and i got my cherry coke it is 11 15 and i'm just sitting down for the first time today other than sitting in my mom's car this is the first time that i'm sitting down at home i got up took a shower washed my hair shave then spent four hours on my hair three hours something like that on my hair and then left went to walmart came back home cooked and now i'm sitting down for the first time my feet are killing me they hurt so bad i'm done with everything for tonight finally <laughs> I am going to go ahead and finally close out this vlog. Hopefully now I don't have too much. I'll figure it out. But I hope that you enjoy this vlog of a couple days. Like always, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. I'm about to sit my ass down. Well, I'm about to see here if I can tear this food up. Bye. This strong, this long.